What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video and a brand new player review and today we're going to be looking at the second in form of Alan Dzhigaev, Dzhigaev I think is how you pronounce it but I don't fully know. I would have loved to have brought you a review of the in form Cavani or second in form Aguero but I'm sure you're all aware basically. Um, unless you pack them they are pretty much unobtainable at the moment because uh, of the way the market is of course. So without further ado it'd be fantastic if you'd smash a like on the video and subscribe if you are new around here but we're going to get stuck into the meat of the review now and the uh, the basic stats of the player you can see Jogaev's card stats he usually ships as a cam but this in form actually came out as a CDM I ended up converting into a centimeter for reasons I'll explain in a second he's got 77 pace 83 dribbling 79 shooting 43 defending 67 physical and 84 passing in a nutshell for a CDM 43 defending and 67 physical is nowhere near good enough especially when you partner with the fact that he's only 5 foot 10 with medium medium work rates he's got three star weight foot and four star skill moves which is a bit better and he got me one goal and four assists in five games which is not a great return he cost me 15,250 coins which is the lower end of his uh, price band he's going for between 15 and 27k and he's still not worth it in my opinion a bit of a spoiler there is that I didn't get along with this player whatsoever we'll talk a bit more firstly about the fact that he ships as a CDM a CDM needs to be a few things strong good in the tackle He's got a good position in the marking, and Jogaev has got none of those traits whatsoever. We'll have a look at some of his in-game stats now, and as you can see, his strength is 63, his uh, interceptions are 59, his marking is 24, he's then got slide tackle of 36 and standing tackle of 41. And that is just a million miles away from where you want his stats to be for a CDM. Nowhere near good enough. I ended up converting him to a centimetre after the second game. I tried him at CDM first game and he was just all over the shop. His position was appalling. He's weak and he just wasn't like, good enough in the tackle. I converted him to a centimetre then I could sort of float between centimetre cam and CDM in positions once to try him in. And uh, basically cam is where he needs to be really. I mean... As a camp, he's a decent player, but he's still not phenomenal. As you saw from his player stats there, he's a bit of a jack of all trades, master of none. His standout stats are his passing with um, 89 vision, which is outstanding. 82 short passing and 79 long passing, which still aren't the greatest, but they are by far his greatest asset. As you can see here, he just gets pushed off the ball far too easily in that instance, and we'll start getting into some more of the positives now. Like I say, his passing is outstanding. His weight of pass is absolutely superb. He always seems to find people in acres of space for some reason. I don't know what it is but um, his shooting's not that great either but you can see from this long shot I had here a bit of a finesse effort Zoran Tosic ends up tapping in and um, basically what you want to do with this player get him at cam and just put the ball in behind because like I say his way to pass is fantastic and that's all he's good for to be honest his assists will speak for themselves four in five is still outstanding but he did have a couple of instances where he put in good corners and although the direct header didn't go to goal he's uh, the follow-up ended up being tapped in which means he didn't get the assist for it but his set pieces are really really strong and as you could see from some of his free kicks that's in the uh, in the stats that we looked at just he has got 85 free kick accuracy partner with decent curve and set pieces are definitely something that he has got in his locker good set pieces like I say CDM never in a million years centre mid maybe Cam, yes. Is it worth the 15k? Nowhere near. When should you ever buy him? Basically, if you've got a Russian league team, it, I'm not familiar with the Russian league. I've not used it that much this year, but I'd imagine that if you've got a Russian league team and you've got the standard Jagayev, I think you say you pronounce it like I say, then he's probably going to be better than that one. It's his second in form and it felt okay, but it just wasn't that great. It was average. At, it's probably yeah, probably just an average in form to be honest. Nothing spectacular. Pretty bad at CDM. Decent at cam. What are we going to give him overall? We're going to be giving him a 6 out of 10. His positives, like I say, his passing is really good. His set pieces are solid. And he's pretty versatile in the fact that all of his skill attributes are pretty decent. None of them are outstanding, but a lot of them are, lot of them are good. Like his passing, his dribbling, his curve, his agility. All those stats are sort of in and around the 80 mark, which is nice. But when it comes to his defensive stats, they are just absolutely woeful. And the cons are going to reflect that. I mean, his uh, strength is awful. His positioning as a defender was awful. I mean, even as an attacker, sometimes you'd find him hiding behind players, which is really frustrating. The league he's in isn't the best either, obviously, because of the fact he's rushing in the Russian league. He's not that great for uh, building hybrids with either. And um, he just wasn't a fantastic card. 6 out of 10 is what I'm going to give him, like I say. Definitely a lot, lot better at Cam than CDM. Probably one of the worst CDMs I've ever played with. I was really shocked to uh, see CDM stats when I saw that he shipped as a CDM, to be honest. But um, as a Cam is decent, would I use him again? Definitely not. 
And uh, yeah, probably the worst thing for my reviewed so far doing this series, to be honest. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used them and you had any better luck than me, or if you completely agree with me, agree with me and you think that it's absolute trash as a CDM and decent as a cam. Be interested to see what you think of Locke if you have used him. But that is going to bring us to the end of this play review of Drag AF. 6 out of 10, the lowest we've going to, ha going to have had so far. I will speak to you all tomorrow in the second game of the uh, the Premier YouTubers tournament. So I hope you're all going to tune in for that one. I will speak to you then. Ninja out. What is going on everybody and welcome to another 60 second squad builder on the channel today and uh, this is a series that I did one episode of a couple of weeks ago I think it was now, uh, asked to see what you 